Hello everybody, I'm Josh, and this is Let's Play Neverwinter Nights in Keygro's Adventures in the Sword Coast. Last time, we infiltrated uh, the Blood Sailor's Hideout in the basement of the Seedy Tavern, and now we're on the second level. Uh, so... Go ahead and make sure I checked in here. I think I did. Yep. Alright, so let's go ahead and finish clearing this out. And we will escape out into the streets. Okay, looks like there's a group of about four blood sailors. Um, do I have anything to get the drop on them? Nope, not really. All right, so we'll just go in. That's one. Get them in the doorway so they can't get as many, or they'll get just as many. Okay. Oh, there was one in the halls. So I am going to look at him and take a potion. Because unlike the ladies, the this one has sneak attack. I want to focus on him first. That way he doesn't get any bonus damage if he hits me. Okay, and then we can uh, return our attention to the female blood sailor. Okay, and she did quite a bit of damage to me. So we'll pick this up. Go ahead and drink these two... Light healing potions, and go ahead and toss the room for valuables. Okay. So I've been trying to think of how I want to continue doing Neverwinter Nights. Um, I would love to make this more of a role-playing experience, so I think once I'm done with the first chapter, I'm going to try a different style of uh, telling the story, but I'll still be try and be as informative as I can about all the secrets and uh, just gameplay that I know about. Um, oh. but yeah, so uh, let me know if you think that will work a little bit better, or if I should just keep narrating as I have been. I'm just really trying to figure out what I want to say with all of this. I would like to talk about some of the design philosophies around the game. Uh, just as a storytelling element. Uh, so that's another thought that I could potentially uh, touch upon. Hmm. I thought I... Oh well. Um... So yeah, just let me know how you'd like me to proceed. If this is going okay, that'd be great. Uh, if not, I will change it up uh, after the first chapter. I want to go ahead and finish up uh, doing an entire chapter, at least in a single way. Alright, and I believe this is the next room. Yep, and there's a lieutenant. Oh, maybe this was the first floor. I uh, actually recorded uh, doing the second or this part and the second floor, uh, but I lost the footage, so I'm having to do it again. 
And I think I just got confused about where I started. We have this lieutenants not doing so well against us. Uh, we'll be able to take him out shortly, I think. As long as he quits hitting us with his two-bladed sword. Hopefully another couple of hits and he'll be down. Oops. <clears throat> All right, and down he goes. So I could have waited on that potion, but he was hitting us pretty hard. Uh, I just didn't want to take the chance of having to do that fight over again. And of course, while he's attacking us with a two-bladed sword, he had a magic quarter staff. Um, that is something that is a little weird. Um, just the game doesn't take into account an NPC's equipment that they use against you, and it just randomly generates equipment, so... But hey, a plus one quarter staff, I think, sells for the same as a plus one two-bladed sword, so either way. Okay, and if I remember correctly, there are a couple of traps here. Yep. And there's one on the chest, too. So I'm not just going to open that willy-nilly. Come on. Detect it. Let's go into... Oh, there it is. Oh, magical hand axes. Uh, so, fire axes. That will be cool, but they are really heavy. So let us stow them with the other ones. Okay, so we still have a weight problem. Let's get this two-bladed axe in there. All right, and that took care of it. Just check this real quick, just to make sure. All right, and down to the second level we go. Yeah, like I said, sorry guys, I was just a little confused at where I left off last time, so. But hey, now you don't have to hear my terrible impression of a Russian woman, and instead I'll get to try and do something else. So as you can see, there's a conversation up here, uh, so we'll go deal with that. And this Blood Sailor drops, in addition to a Rapier and a Blood Sailor uniform, two potions that we totally know what they are, but can't identify. So we'll take them after identifying them. And looks like a Blood Sailor lady is being interrogated by two males. So we'll dispatch them and see what information she had. But we'll be nice instead of torturing her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. It is good. Okay. You'll excuse me. I'm going to try this accent again. So you'll excuse me if I slip out of it. It is good to hear a kind voice. These men have not been gentle, and I fear their questions were going ever more insistent. I am Dara Ney, and I am at your mercy. I'd hoped you were sent by Vengal, but I haven't heard from him. 
his auction was called off. Uh, what do you know about the auction? I have a question first, if you don't mind. Who do you serve? I won't say anything. Ugh, see, I already slipped out of it. <laughs> I won't say anything if you intend to use it against people I care about. I'm acting as a guard under Arabath and Nasher. I see. I begin to understand what your interest in Vengol and his blood sellers may be. Ask your questions, I will try to answer. Uh, I want to ask about Vengol. Vengol Bloodsail, the Scarlet Blade. He is the former leader of... Mutinous blood sailors, and he is my betrothed. We have been apart for far too long. And uh, where is he now? I cannot say for certain, but he is an old pirate set in his ways. He said I would be able, or I would know where to find him, and I have a few ideas. Vengul is on the run, so he'll go to where he thinks he's safe. He'll either go to the Silver Sails or the Aqueducts. I think both places lead to an underground cache of heats. Uh, if you help me find him, I will spare his life. I want to believe. He really did mean for his auction to help. He just wanted the right amount of flash as well. Very well. Find him. Take this locket. It was present from him. He said it was key and it would let me enter Silver Sails if I needed to find him. Silver Sails is in the west central area of the docks. There is passage inside. Vengel said it is safe, for him at least. Goodbye. Farewell. I will remain here. Vengel will find me when the time is right to do so. If his game doesn't get even further out of hand. And again, I apologize for my terrible, terrible accent. But... It was worse the first time I did it, so at least I had a little bit of practice this time. Alright, so we can either go to the Blood Sails, or uh, the Silver Sails, or apparently the Aqueducts. Okay, there's a Dire Mace. Okay, I think this pack is filled up. Right, we can move some of the smaller stuff over to a lighter bag. Get this dire mace in there. Okay. I want to try and clear out this basement before uh, going and doing some shopping. So, uh, it's just a regular longbow. It's probably not worth all that much. I'll just leave it. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, I think this is the way out. Nope. But there are blood sailors. There are a bunch of blood sailors. And if I remember correctly, there is a wizard among them. Oh, that looked like there were two wizards, but I took care of one. Okay. Looks like we just have to take care of these guards, and then... I remember that the wizards in this section are actually pretty annoying um, because I think they have monk levels as well as just being wizards so I want to take care of his familiar or rather summoned creature so I'm probably going to draw that out with a well-timed crossbow shot or a missing crossbow shot, whichever. OK. 
Okay. Now the cool... One of the things I could try and do, but I know I have a tough time fighting with uh, the wizard, is if you kill the wizard, off, or if you kill the summoner off, uh, any summoned creatures will disappear to where they're coming from. And you don't get experience for killing uh, summoned creatures, so... Oh. And examine this. It's a Sash of Shimmering. She gives a spell resistance. Uh, let's see. I need a healing kit. Let's go ahead and use the plus three. And let's gain a couple of temporary hit points. Okay. And I just want to make sure I hit this guy, so I'm going to bull strength up. And away we go. All right, I think he's concealed, so we'll just come over here until we can find him. All right, and you see the spell resistance actually worked in our favor there. We didn't get hit by any of those magic missiles. Okay, and the Blood Sailor missed with one of his spells. We're also, he's not casting defensively, so we're able to knock out some of them. Okay, he hit us with a ray of frost. Not so bad. And now he goes into the fisticuffs mode where he is going to do way more damage than his spells did. If either of us can hit one another, it seems like we're pretty evenly matched. Oh, there it goes. That's a five damage. And a returning kind with a much hardier chop. Oh, uh, he has potions. Which sucks because I could have used that healing potion. But like I said, I don't think it would have mattered even if he hadn't used it. Okay, and down he goes. And we will proceed to toss the room. Oh, a light crossbow. Okay, I'm not sure if that's trapped or not, so... I'm gonna give it a minute. Okay, I think this is okay. Let me go into... Uh, detect mode. Oh, nope, had a trap. Good thing I decided to check it a little bit more closely. Okay, and a thing of splint mail. Um, hmm. Well, this tower shield is 45. Okay, so we're not quite encumbered yet. Uh, let's cancel detect mode. Okay, and then hopefully before a potion runs out, we'll be able to take on the rest of the floor. I think there is one more uh, lieutenant like that. At the exit. Okay, we'll get that. I think there's a big room of dudes right here. Oh, oh, there's a sword lieutenant, so let's go ahead and take him on. And he won the initiative and hit us first. But we seem to be holding our own, so that's good. Uh, 
And again, it would be nice if we got this uh, two-bladed sword, but I already have one, so I don't need another one. It would just turn into gold. Okay. Should be nearly done now. Um, so, since I think he's using his two-bladed sword two-handed, he takes a penalty any time he attacks. But he's still hitting us pretty well. Alright, and down he goes. We'll have to pull out another healing kit. We'll grab his magic dagger. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a second. See if... It has a trap in it again. Okay, I'm guessing it doesn't. Nope. Ooh, even more fire axes. And a regular box in which we can put trinkets and stuff. So, we will take care of that. All right, and I believe this is the last room. And it has... Yep, a Blood Sailor Lieutenant. Oh, but he's a dual wielder, not a mage. So... Hopefully we'll have a, a easy time with this than with the Monk Mage. Okay, starting to get hurt, so let's potion up. Okay, his whatever potion he had going has given up. Oh, he has sneak attack, so he is definitely a rogue fighter. Oh, and there goes our potion. Okay, should be getting there. Alright, and I believe that was the last enemy of this area, so let's just take his loot and slowly make our way outside. Okay, and we're back on the streets of the dock, so... With that, we have finished up that dungeon. We will be heading over to... I think I'm going to take on the Aqueducts, uh, because there is a tomb dungeon in there. So uh, we'll head over there next. So thanks for watching, and everybody have a great day. Bye.